We've got baseball for you from Guaranteed Rate Field on the south side of Chicago. Today, the finale of this quick two-game series between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Chicago White Sox. Stay tuned. White Sox baseball is next. Carlos Radon, a left-handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's Got slightly over that, but this right, guy's a better down. pitcher than that Number ERA down. indicates. First pitch of the at bat. There's a strike. Oh, yeah. Fellas, these White Sox, as they enter play today, they come in off a loss last time out, but they've been playing well, winners of five straight prior to that game. Yeah, Matty V. Hey, D Row, we're looking at a team that's playing some pretty good baseball right now. Through the first five games of this homestand, four and one, and looking for some bigger and better things. Yeah, we had a chance to sit down before the game after BP with the manager. He was really pleased with the way his team has played in these last five. Let's see if it continues today. You know, D-Roll, that's not a bad way to keep it going. And base hit right there. Hitting streak, 15 games and counting. Yeah, we're halfway through a calendar month, and he looks up and he's had a knock. You can't get caught up in it. You have to trust the process. Keep doing what got you to this point. Staying focused, not trying to do too much, staying within your plan and studying the opposing pitcher. One and two pitch. And the slider bounces, and that'll get on by. So now two men in scoring position. Man, that is such a wasted opportunity. Two on, one out. Perfect situation to induce a grounder and get out of the inning. But instead, he's wild, and both runners advance, taking the double play situation away. And it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. A chance here to check out the starting lineup for the visiting Pirates. Danny, any thoughts? Well, Matt, I'm going to be paying close attention to Starling Marte. He's really swung the bat well against left-handed pitchers so far this season. He's hitting over 300 against southpaws, and he's facing another one of those today. I'm sure he's excited to hit in this one. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes as Mr. Ed Drummond. Yeah, Matty, we got a good one behind the dish today in Ed Drummond. Well-liked by all people, pitchers, batters, managers. All you want as a player is the ability to talk to someone. And that's what Ed does. He gives you that chance. Zero, you hit a nail right on the head. He has a real long fuse. He's not afraid to let a hitter or a pitcher, I'm not say complain about a particular pitch, but he's not the guy that's going to get mad and throw somebody and give him the boot just because a guy doesn't like a pitch or a pitcher thinks that a pitch is a strike and they call it a ball. To the plate now for Pittsburgh is the DH, number 27. He's assuming the role of DH in this interleague matchup. Yeah, Matt, that's one of the funny things about National League teams playing in AL ballparks. All of a sudden, the lineup kind of changes dramatically. But the cool thing is it gets more guys a chance to get some at-bats or time in the field. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Two out, bases loaded. Here's 
There's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Jeffrey Marte would be next. And he comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. Pirates leave him loaded. Time for the White Sox to go to work. No score. Digging in for his second at bat, number 79. And he's the reigning recipient of the National League's Player of the Month award. Here's the first pitch to him. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Bases are empty, one man out. Tried to work it back to that low inside corner, but it misses one and two. 0 oh, 2 pitch, not even close to the zone, and a fastball might be an indication that he's going to start using some of his secondary pitches. The one two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. He'll try again, one, two. Swinging a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get foul. Hey, he's got four foul balls in this AB right here. He's really making his pitcher grind for everything. Very weakly on the ground. That's a foul ball. Hey, we all love home runs and gaffers, but I love the mano e mano right here. Five foul balls in this at bat. He continues to make this pitcher work. To two balls and two strikes now. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long, scrambling pitch after pitch, making this guy work out on the mound. Here's a drive out toward left center field. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he'll pull into second with one away. So a good job of going the other way here as he checks in with the one-out double. And you can see where he ranks on the Pirates team leaderboard. Currently tops on the ball club in that category. So stepping in, Todd Frazier, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Pickoff move to second, runner back safely. Swing and a miss, good pitch, and it's full now, three and two. He came out of his shoes on that one, boys. I know we swung and missed it. We felt the breeze from up here. But if he gets that pitch again and catches it a grain low, we got action. Ready with the payoff pitch. And the runner's breaking for third. Into the corner and slicing it foul. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Runner's on his way to third. Pickoff play at second, and he'll dive back in safely. And he'll turn and throw back to second again, and the runner back safely. And now the runner's trying for third. Swing and a missed strike three. The throw is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. So a good job there of taking third unannounced. But meanwhile, the strikeout means two men are gone now. How about it? 
left fielder, Charlie Martin. Hit sharply on the ground. And this is a base hit, and that'll get him on the board as this ball game is tied at one. Boy, talking about picking your teammate up after that strikeout, D. wrote big, big, and I mean big, two-hard RBI single. Yeah, way to come through for your team. When you take the donut off your bat right there, you're trying to pick up your teammate. He had... He said... Three, three. In now is Adam Eaton. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Fly ball out toward right field. Alonzo over to his left. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the White Sox. We've played three full. We're tied at one. Ready for another chance. Micah Johnson is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Hold high in the air out to right field. Right fielder has a beat on it. Makes the play one away. Play ball. Digging in and looking for more, number 79. He doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit hard down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. Oh, and one here it comes off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Now the one and one pitch is belted and take a look at this. Deep Anyways, right up in here. field and it's gone. Ah, the thunderbolt. So it's a two-run shot to right center, number 18 for him on the campaign, and it's given the Pirates a 3-1 to one lead. There are certain guys in every lineup that you do not want to beat you, and this guy right now is swinging the bat so well, I'm not giving him a... So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, okay. number 79. And he's got a shot at history here, but he'll need a triple to complete the cycle. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A changeup over the inside corner. To me, getting ahead 0-1, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. I, it puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1-0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1-1. When you're down 0-1, your head's on swivel. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. But they'll catch a break as the runners are going to stay where they are here. At Here's the center fielder now, Colby Rasmus. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. Perez is off of first with two away. This is skied out toward right. Right fielder is on the run. Oh, and he botches it. And this will find the wall out near the visitor's bullpen. And a relay to the plate. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Never say never in this game, folks. It's late and the clock is ticking. 
but that RBI double might start making believers out of the entire dugout. We'll see if they can build on it and maybe get back into this thing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Wes Fernandez. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Heading out towards shallow right. Under it is the right fielder, and that retires the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. Bucks out in front, six to three. Here now is Micah Johnson. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at-bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. A man left for the White Sox can't cut into that 6-3 deficit. Abe Rotino enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. He's set. Here it comes. Driven nicely into the gap. He takes the turn and heads for second. Around second, looking for the cycle. The relay throw, but he is in there with a triple. Joe has just hit for the cycle. What a thrill for him and everybody here in attendance, for that matter. Wow, this is great, Matt. I've seen a few others besides this one, and it is really exciting for everyone, even the broadcaster. It's such a rare feat in our sport, and it always seems to come out of nowhere. So it's Game pretty cool. Open. We got a Ride chance a to see some baseball history in this one. How about it? Third baseman, Todd Frazier. Frazier in front, three balls and a strike. You can bet he's salivating a little in the box right now. He likes to drive in runs, and he's got a great situation and count to do that right here. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. All right, that's when you got to tell yourself to slow down a little bit right there. Out in front on a fastball, hit it hard, but pulled it foul. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Here's Starling Marte, although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. The 1-1. One, one. High fly ball out to deep right field. Fernandez racing back. A leap, but he can't bring it back into the park. It's a home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Okay, Seven home open, runs for him on the year now as they open it up to eight to three. When this one left the bat, I thought it was going to be an easy out to right. But it just kept carrying and carrying. And the right fielder gave it a great effort and almost brought it back. But no dice. a two-game set but listen it's still a sweep hey man winners make the rules around here and they earned it eight five today the pittsburgh pirates used a nice fifth inning to take the lead and they never gave it back ian kennedy earns his sixth winning decision in this one so that's it for us this afternoon for mark DeRosa, dan pleasak and our entire crew i'm matt vaskersian you've been watching mlb the show for more log on to the shownation.com
Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Pirates. Eight runs on 12 hits. One error and 11 runners left on base. For the White Sox, five runs on nine hits. With one error, they left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 42 minutes. A reminder that extra CTA Redline trains will be available at the Sox 35th Street Station and that Pace Go-Go Sox Express buses are available outside of guaranteed rate field.
After executing a rare batting feat, this player receives a call he would never have expected. 